Hello dear friends, uh, this is your coach for the safety and today we will try to explain the module 16, welding, cutting and brazing. Which hazards are involved in welding operations? There are fire hazards, metal splatters, electric shock, explosion hazard, reduced cases, radiant energy, where would these hazards be found on oil and gas well sites. There are three basic types of welding, gas welding, arc welding, oxygen and arc cutting welding. The gas welding is uh, slower and easier to control than electric arc using gas flames or metals until molten fuel is formed. Most popular fuels used for the oxygen include acetylene, map gas, and hydrogen. Arc welding. Two, two metals are joined by generating an electric arc between a covered metal electrode and the base metal. The oxygen and arc cutting, metal cutting and welding is the serving or removal of metal by a flame. So, oxygen and arc cutting. Most common cutting processes are oxygen cutting and arc cutting. Oxygen cutting uh, is uh, when the metal is heated by a gas flame and an oxygen jet does the cutting. Intense heat of electric arc melts away the metal and arc cutting. Which regulations uh, will apply to the welding process and welding activities of an organization? There are uh, 29 CFR 1910 subpart Q, general industry, 29 CFR 1926 subpart J, construction industry, FIRP 54 section 20, hot work, welding and flame cutting operations. Uh, which are the general requirements for the 29 CFR 1910 252? Uh, fire hazards should be removed if the welded object cannot be readily moved. Guards should be used if removing fire hazard is not possible. Restrictions apply no cutting or welding allowed if none of the above is possible. We can see in the picture an example of a hazardous environment which is a high risk of Fire. Special precautions. Protect nearby combustible materials from sparks that might escape through openings in floor or walls. Fire extinguisher must be ready for instant use. Fire watch lasting at least 30 minutes after welding or cutting operation is required. If more than a minor fire might develop and if certain combustible materials are present. Authorization. Authorization is also one of the special precaution where a responsible individual must inspect the area and designate precautions, preferably by written permit. Floors. Combustible material must be swept 35 feet away. Combustible floor must be wetted or protected while preventing arc welding shock. Special precautions uh, include also a prohibited areas for welding unauthorized by management where sprinklers are impaired, explosive atmospheres near storage of large quantities of readily ignitable materials. Re Relocation of combustibles. Combustibles shall be moved 35 feet away from properly protected or shielded ducts. Ducts and conveyor system that might carry sparks must be shut down 
combustible walls must be shielded or guarded non combustible walls partitions or ceilings when welded require opposite side moving of combustible or fire watch combustible covers no welding on certain metals building components having combustible covers or layers pipes are any metal closing and up to combustible to cause ignition by conduction may not be cut or welded management responsibilities establish proper areas and procedures designate responsible individual ensure training advise contractors of hazards what are the supervisor responsibilities uh, for any welding operations uh, the first responsibility is to the safety of equipment and procedures determine combustible and hazardous areas protect combustible from ignition through moving shielding and scheduling secure authorization give go ahead to cutter or a welder ensure fire protection ensure fire watches if required welding or cutting containers used containers must be cleaned of flammable materials or other materials that could release toxic or flammable wafers when heated venting and purging is required for hollow spaces or cavities when there is a welding operation in confined space the precautions must be taken during long pauses in arc welding to prevent accidental contact of electrodes torch wall gas leaks in gas welding during lunch or over lunch or overnight railing or other suitable fall protection must be provided uh, as required uh, in case the welding operation is performed uh, above the ground or minimum 2 meter over up the ground so railing must be provided to protect the persons welding cap pills and other equipment must be kept clear of passageways ladder and stairways eye protection and protective equipment of specific appropriate types must be worn nearby workers must be protected from arc welding rays you can see an example in the pictures Uh, what other precautions need to to be taken in uh, health protection and ventilation general requirements for protection welders are based on three factors dimensions of space especially ceiling height in which welding is to be done number of welders possible evaluation of hazardous fumes gases or dust according to the materials involved natural and mechanical ventilation must not be restricted by screen sufficient to keep concentrations uh, less than pl mechanical ventilation required for materials not described here spaces less than 10000 feet for welder sorry less than spa spaces less than 10 feet for welder Uh, rooms with ceiling lower than 16 feet confined spaces are areas with barriers to natural cross ventilation dilution ventilation contaminant should travel away from breathing zone local exhaust ventilation may be effective so if there is a uh, operation a welding operation in a confined space are in a room so a local exhaust system must be installed to dilute the the hazardous fumes and other gas uh, welding smokes from the area like we can see in this picture the ventilation is very poor 
the here is uh, fair we can say uh, here is good and here is the the best ventilation confined space ventilation first respirators are for ventilation impossible specific rules for specific chemicals outdoors just stay below pl uh, if there is a chemical you must read the safety data sheet of that chemicals and apply the precaution is mentioned in the safety data sheet transmission pipeline special rules in 1910 252 d1 special electric shock protection per wet condition pressure testing workers and public protection against blowing out or loose dirt construction api stud flammable substance lines api stud uh, no number of 2201 1963 x-ray inspection unc this is a standard unc z54 1-1963 Oxygen fuel gas welding and cutting general requirement flammable mixtures and fuels cases and air oxygen must be guarded against maximum pressure of 15 psi or acetylene must be absorbed with certain rare exceptions approved practice competent person and charge of supply equipment cylinder and containers approval and marking dot compliant legal legally marked and see compliant connections wall protections away from heat sources cylinder and container storage all the cylinders and containers must be uh, stored away from heat sources such as radiators when inside buildings well protected ventilated dry and at least 20 feet from combustible Materials assigned storage spaces protected from damage and tampering when empty, closed walls when not in use, hand tight wall protection caps. Oxygen storage uh, protect oxygen cylinders from fire hazards such as acetylene. The distance between uh, fuel gas and oxygen cylinder must be 20 feet minimum barriers five feet high non-combustible partition with half hour fire resistance rating arc welding and cutting use compliant equipment special design for exposure to weather flammable gases marine conditions Workmen who operates or maintain arc welding equipment shall be acquainted with the requirement of 1910-254 and 1910-252. Electrode holders when not in use must be kept from shocking people and objects. Protect against electric shock. Never use cables with splices within 10 feet, 3 meter of the holder. The welder should not Coil or loop welding electrode cables around parts of his body. Maintenance must be ensured safely. Damaged cable and equipment must be replaced. Work and cables must be joined properly and have indicated insulation. Operation procedures. So, uh, cylinders, cylinder walls, cufflinks, regulators, hose, and apparatus kept free. From oily or grassy, grassy substances. Oxygen cylinders shall not be handled with oily hands or gloves. A jet of oxygen must never be permitted to strike an oily surface, grease, clothes, or enter a fuel, oil, or other storage tank. Before connecting a regulator to a cylinder wall, open the wall slightly, close immediately, open the wall while standing to one side of the outlet never in front of it never crack a fuel gas cylinder wall other welding work or near sparks flames or other possible sources of ignition always open the cylinder wall slowly 
never open an acetylene cylinder wall more than 1.5 ton of the spindle and preferably no more than 3 4 of ton hose and hose connections replace hose with leak sponge once place defects if the hose is uh, defective or defected or there is any leaks or damage so the hose shall be replaced immediately when parallel length of oxygen and a fuel hose are taped together not more than 4 or 12 inches covered by tape here you can test your knowledge how long must a fire watch continue write your answers in the comments please 30 minutes how far away must combustible materials be kept from welding so answer in the comments i will also display the answer but you need to comment in the correct answer before watching the answer radius of 35 feet who is responsible for making fire watcher available so write the answer in the comments and i will also show you the answer supervisor during work in confined spaces what must be left outside gas cylinders and welding machines in this picture you can identify the hazards and uh, you can uh, assess the precautions you can make a risk assessment of this environment for example we can see the the, the hoses are in very poor conditions and all the chemicals they put together okay, there is no segregation so it's a very poor uh, environment and unsafe condition you can write any other unsafe condition and unsafe equipment and tools in the comment below watch the the pictures and identify the hazards in the picture yeah this picture is comparatively better as all the tools are in a proper way the cylinders are tied in a trolley axes are clears but still there are some hazards which you can identify and write in the comment below